It's believed an anonymous tip-off prompted a police investigation into New Zealand-born multi-millionaire businessman Sir Ron Briley, who is now facing child pornography charges. Sir Ron, who was knighted in 1988, set up Briley Investments in the 1960s. The 82-year-old now lives in the affluent Sydney suburb of Point Piper. ABC crime reporter Mark Reddy is covering the story and explains what happened. Sir Ron Briley has been charged with six offences relating to alleged possession of child pornography. The 82-year-old investor was handcuffed at Sydney International Airport yesterday morning after he was stopped by Border Force officials. He was carrying a uh, small suitcase and police are alleging that he was on his way to Fiji. Inside that case, it's alleged uh, there was a large amount of child pornography material found on a laptop and also on some other electronic devices. He was then handcuffed uh, in the airport and taken to a police station where he was formally charged. He has now been granted conditional bail and he will face court in February next year. What do we know about this investigation and perhaps how long it had been going on for? So this investigation hadn't been going on for too long. It began in August. New South Wales police were involved in this investigation and uh, we understand from sources close to the investigation that uh, this was the result of anonymous tip-off from a member of the public and police had been closely monitoring the 82-year-old who, of course, is a huge name here in Australia and in New Zealand. You say he was heading to Fiji. Do we know for what purpose, whether he regularly visited there? We don't really know any circumstances surrounding his travel to Fiji. All we know is that he was planning to board uh, yesterday morning and he was stopped by Border Force officials. But at this stage, police haven't really gone into too much detail as to how they managed to stop him and what his movements would have been if he was on his way to Fiji. So that still remains a bit unclear. So he has been granted bail, you say, to where? And do we know anything of the conditions? Well, at this stage, we know that he is unable to leave the country. He can't actually fly out overseas until he faces court in February. What we also know is that Sir Ron Briley uh, lives in one of the most expensive suburbs in Australia, in Point Piper, down on Sydney Harbour. And uh, he lives only around the corner from our former Prime Minister, Malcolm Turnbull. So it's a really affluent area, um, a lot of really expensive and large homes down there. And he's required to live at that address until his court appearance. As for the other conditions, uh, w- w- those uh, will probably become come out in court in February, but all we do know is that he's unable to travel and he must reside at that address. Has there been any comment for, from Sir Ron Briley or, or his legal team? Well, we've had camera crews outside his home this morning and there has been absolutely no movement. Uh, His lawyer hasn't returned any calls from the media at this stage. I'd imagine his lawyer would be sort of mounting his case, uh, which will go to court in February. But, um, of course, this has got a lot of attention here in Australia. We know that he founded uh, RA Briley Investments in 1961 with no capital and now 23 years later, it's New Zealand's largest company by market capitalisation. So he's known in Australia for turning around companies, for uh, helping facilitate takeovers, and he really is the guy who people go to in the corporate world if they want to try and uh, strengthen a firm. So uh, this has really come as a shock to the business community. We also know he is an active member in the community. He was admitted as a knight uh, for services to business management and the community, and also He was a former trustee of the Sydney Cricket Ground and only last year a scholarship was put in his name for cricket players in rural and regional Australia. So, uh, of course, uh, he's widely known in both the business world and now the sporting world. So this really has come as a shock to many Australians and, of course, I imagine a lot of New Zealanders. And that's the ABC crime reporter Mark Reddy.